everyone, Amy Love here, and um, I was afraid of this. I can't exactly get a good angle <laughs> for to show you this tree. It's just um, awkward video problems. But anyway, for the last several years, I, I do a tree. So this is this year's tree. And I was really inspired and excited to do this tree, but I have to tell you, it has ended up looking nothing like I was going for originally. And I actually took the thing apart twice because I didn't like what was happening. <laughs> I didn't like where it was going, but now it has ended up just beautiful. It's beautiful. So even though it was a long road to get there, <laughs> I love, love, love how it turned out. So I started with a, a paper mache cone that I got at Hobby Lobby and it was $1.49 and I got it for half off. And the thing at, to do at Hobby Lobby when you're looking for the cone trees, they have in their Christmas craft section cone, uh, paper mache trees that have bottoms on them, you know, little bottoms. And they are slightly more expensive then if you go over to the paper mache aisle and just get the cone. And I prefer the cone because without having the bottom, it actually stands better in my opinion. So there's just your little tip. Go over to the paper mache and get the cone when it's half off. So I actually, uh, I gessoed the cone, but it was absolutely not necessary to do so <laughs> because I covered it completely. But I always, I always gesso the things because I'm never sure if I'm going to cover it completely, even though I almost 99% of the time do. I don't know. So if you know you're going to cover it, save yourself the step. Then I used, which I don't even know if any of that is showing anymore, but I covered the whole thing with a, with a snippet roll that I made in neutral colors. And um, it was a really pretty snippet roll, but like you cannot hardly see that at all. So I think that you could just cover it with a piece of muslin or fabric and be fine and save your snippet roll base for something where you're going to see it because it's so pretty and, you know, and a lot of work goes into snippet rolls. So there is a snippet roll at the bottom and I guess it is peeking through here and there and it is very, very pretty. And then I started layering, like ruching up, gathering up some laces, like this beautiful polka dot lace that I got from Angel Dream Crafts which um, might be out of stock, but I, there'll be more on the way. I love it so much. Then I um, ruched up this really pretty lace that I don't even know where it came from. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I started by doing layers of that. And then I added uh, little flowers. So I made little lace flowers. I glued on these um, pretty flowers from Hobby Lobby and then I kind of put like half lace collars around them. I don't know why. I just thought it would add some texture and I did that with all kinds of different laces. Just kind of put it around um, half of the flowers. I don't know. It sounded like a good idea and I actually love the way it looks. So I did that, then I added, I cut up some of Kim's appliques and added bits of applique here and there. I also added some pearls from her store all around. I had leftover snippet scraps, so I cut circles out of my the snippet roll scraps I had left and then just put pearls in the middle of them. So I think those are cute because, you know, they're kind of like ornaments, so I made them in all different sizes. And you can just see all the snippet around there. And then I had um, this little dimensional trim that has the flower and dangles off of it. So I added those here and there around also. Uh, more applique. I added uh, bling to the middle of my flowers. And you can get beautiful bling over in Dream Crafts also. So it's just, it was fun. It's got so many bits. Uh, these little beautiful little ornaments that have the rondelle, they're so cute. Can you see that? That's so cute. These are from Angel Dream Crafts. So I sewed them on to the tree and then added little bows on the top everywhere um, that I added one. They're just so super cute. 
super cute on here. And there's another one of the snippets from a snippet roll, a snippet roll ornament, I guess you could call it. And then at the top, I put some appliques with dangles um, to the top of the tree. Then I created this flower and I put that um, over the dangly bits, which is so pretty. I love the dangly bits. And then these, these snowflakes, I adore these snowflakes. I love them. And these, you can get at Angel Dream Crafts. So be sure you go over and get some before they're gone. So that is this year's tree. I love it. You know, I didn't do a tutorial. I have many uh, altered Christmas tree tutorials on my channel. I did not do a tutorial for this because I took it apart so many times and I couldn't decide what I was doing. And it's just kind of like a snippet tree. I just put bits on here and there and this is how it turned out. I think it just turned out beautifully. But I mean, I almost gave up a couple times. So I was like, nah, this is not working out for me. <laughs> So I'm glad I stuck with it because I absolutely love it, even though there's no good way to show this tree. There just isn't. I love it. I think it's so super, super pretty. So I would love to uh, for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And please leave me a thumbs up. And I will post pictures of this tree where you can actually see the tree. I'll put them on my Instagram and in my Facebook group um, if you want a better you know, some photos because I just can't. <laughs> and if I don't tack photos onto the end of this, then I can upload my video much faster. So there we are. But thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're all doing well and you're finding time to uh, create something. I'll see you all in the next one.